Bro, how many isekais have we covered? I'm not complaining. I like the genre. My boy finds out his parents are from another world and because of some sort of contract, they have to give up their most prized possession after a time. That most prized possession just so happens to be him. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they're trying to think of really interesting ways to like force somebody into another world at this point. Now he's grossly overpowered as I'm sure, you know, you guys are used to seeing stuff like that. But unlike most of the other Isekais, it's very clear that he's not sure how powerful he is. Right, all he has is like the weeb's outlook to go upon. He's like, oh, I seen this in a manga. I saw this in an anime, right? And usually that sort of stuff is inaccurate. And you know, if this anime doesn't make you smile or laugh in the first step, you're probably a psychopath. Go ahead and skip it. But it's actually good food. It's a little jokey, but it's intended. The characters are literally silly and episode one will surprise you. To be honest, I always say watch the first step. And this time is no different. The supporting characters and side characters really bring this world to life. And as someone who watches way too much of this stuff, I appreciate how important it is to have the world be just as complex as the MC itself since the world should be full of people who live lives just as vivid and as complex as the MC. I'm supposed to cover the name, so I'm gonna do it. It's Tusuki Gamichibiku Isekai Doshu? Bro, these hurt every time. But the English name is Moonlight Journey Across Another World. Like and subscribe. And if you do comment, tell me what type of genre that you're into right now. Cuz I'm actually, I've like hit most of the season. So like I almost watched Higurashi. And I might watch it anyway. Who knows? See you guys soon.